Hi, my name is Julia Jordan, and uh, I started performing off-Broadway when I was about nine years old, so I've been singing and performing uh, for about 18 years now. Started playing the guitar uh, 10 years ago and writing my own music. The music that I write, I like to call it Conscious Acoustic Soul, because I like to write music with a message and make people feel inspired and empowered through it. I went to the High School for Performing Arts in New York City, the Fame School. I wanted to get in for drama, but apparently I'm not the actress, I'm the singer. So I got in for voice. And uh, for four years, it's actually classical training. So for four years, I was terrified to stand up in front of my class and sing these Italian arias in German and French and Old English because I just noticed right from the beginning that that just wasn't the music that my voice was best suited to. In one of the classes, probably about my senior year, I got a chance to be in a class where we wrote our own music and it changed my life. I felt like I had a voice and the things that I felt inside, um, I could get them out and I touched people that way and the, my friends and I, we found this amazing means for self-expression. And I feel like the technique that I learned during that classical training, I, I'm actually able to put into play when I'm singing my own music, my own style, which is an influence of jazz and folk and, and um, all kinds of things. I think when I play guitar, I'm definitely a rhythm guitar player. I like to play kind of funky, upbeat, fun rhythms. And sometimes I do sort of finger style, finger picking stuff, but I still like to keep it as upbeat and fun as possible to really keep the positivity going throughout the music. Growing up, I actually listened to a lot of singer-songwriters. My mom listened to a lot of Joni Mitchell, James Taylor, Suzanne Vega, Bonnie Raitt. Um, so a lot of like introspective and like really poignant lyrical songwriters and jazz. Um, as well as growing up in New York City, I listened to a lot of Lauryn Hill, uh, Jill Scott, Indy Iree. And I think that as I was growing up, that's when I really started to uh, write my own music was through those more um, R&B and soul and hip hop influenced uh, artists. performing for a really long time now and um, I just I just really really love it. I love going out on stage and being able to share something that I've worked so hard to perfect and to um, prepare for and to watch the audience's response when they you know laugh in the right place or cry in the right place or just respond in a powerful clapping and cheering or just you know when they're silent. When you're able to make an audience go silent, these really powerful moments, and I, um, I really, really enjoy doing it. A lot of performing I've actually done with my dad, Stanley Jordan. He tours all over the world, so I've been with him to Egypt and Brazil and Guam, some really neat places, and had the chance to sing on stage with him some jazz standards and some fun things. And sometimes he'll play music, some of my music with me, which is always really fun. One of the, the most amazing experiences I've, I've ever had was just recently, a couple months ago, when I was in Sierra Leone. Uh, I actually went there to teach a uh, creative arts program to teenage girls in this really small town up country. And uh, at the end, they put on this performance. And they asked me, they wanted me, I mean, this wasn't what it was about, but they wanted me to play one of my songs in this show. And it wasn't decided till the day of, but of course, I mean, you know, you're in West Africa and you're being told by 15 year olds, you know, go sing, I love your song. I said, okay, we gotta do it. So I walked out there and looked around and the audience was, it was the most amazing audience I've ever stood in front of. I mean, the women were so beautiful and there were probably a hundred people standing there just smiling and bopping their heads and these beautiful dresses and kids sitting on the floor and running around and laughing and clapping and that was the most soul inspiring moment I think I've ever had.
I was really, really lucky to have a, a great arts education growing up through musical theater, through the training that I had in high school, through my parents' influence, and through just being given the chance to just uh, find my own means for self-expression, which I found through the guitar and through singing and performing. And, you know, I just started teaching a couple years ago and I discovered that teaching is a really great way for me to now inspire the next generation. You know, I've got nine and 10 and 11 year old female students who are discovering the guitar and discovering their own voices for the first time. And it's a really powerful moment to watch them grow. It really changed my life and I'd like to change others that way. I mean, I think it's really, really important. I have a great time doing it and I think it's, um, I think it's what I'm meant to do. And there's a pondering on life you see all The way my thoughts attract The positive for the negative So I don't worry about the worry Just focus on the story Yeah, it's not a game so again, I'm Julia Jordan, and uh, you can find me on juliajordanmusic.com as well as myspace.com slash juliajordanmusic, or find me on Facebook. I'm easy to find. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Keep in touch.